And Walker is just around the corner and there's a few things that you can do to prepare to have the best experience ever with the new Final Fantasy XIV's expansion, and Walker. In this video, we're gonna go over the few things that you should do in the next one or two days right before the maintenance of Endwalker in order to be fully prepared to play the expansion when it drops, if you're playing early release. This is going to be a quick video, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing you'll wanna do is use your Poetics and purchase Sage and Reaper gear sets. When new jobs are dropped, you usually get a few armor pieces for that job, but if you want to jump right in and start leveling up Sage or Reaper, you're going to wanna get Poetics gear that you can get at level 70, item level 400, which is at Ragor's Reach NPC. This will make sure you have everything you need in order to jump right into leveling Sage and Reaper. The next thing to know is the game will be down for maintenance at 1 a.m. on December 2nd for a full 24 hours. So you want to make sure that you get all of this done before that maintenance period. I have seen many not account for the maintenance period and they're kind of halfway through what they need to get done because they don't think it's going to be down for so long. So make sure you get these things done before the maintenance period on December 2nd. The Moogle Treasure Trove event will be ending, so make sure to turn in all of your tombstones in order to get all the rewards you want before the drop of the patch. Usually, the Moogle will stay, but why chance it? Just get all your turn-ins in and get your jacket or other rewards that you were gearing for. Or if you've been farming for this long, then make sure to turn that all in for your MGP cards and start farming for those MGP mounts. Belts. Remember, belts are going away, so make sure to go to each one of your jobs and unequip the belt as well as take out the materia. If you were at level 80 with a belt, you don't wanna lose this materia because it is really expensive. So if you have a chance to get it back, then you'll want to grab that now. Especially if you have all level 80 jobs, then you really wanna make sure that you don't waste any materia by leaving it into the belt. They will be going to the Calamity Scavenger and will really no longer have use in the game. Cap out on your tombstones. Usually for every patch, you'll be able to turn in your capped out tombstones for Poetics, which will then get you your level 80 Crypt Lurkers gear. Um, usually every patch you can jump ahead with other jobs with the Poetics gear. They'll get added into Poetics. So you wanna make sure you can have as many as possible so then you can get other jobs you have at level 80 quickly to cap in order to play the new content. It's really not that difficult with the duty roulettes for the next day or two, you'll be a little more than halfway if you're not already capped out. Many players are at this point since we've been waiting for this expansion for so long. Don't forget to level up your jobs. So if your jobs are a little bit right on the cusp of leveling up to that next level, make sure to take the time to do that for each one of your jobs. If it's halfway or maybe a little less, depending on the level, I wouldn't really worry about it. You can use the Pixie Beast Tribe quest if there are 70 above in order to get the couple million experience points you need. If not though, I wouldn't really worry about it. Remember though, this does include battle jobs, crafter jobs, and your retainers, but I really, again, wouldn't worry about it if they're quarter of a way leveled. If you wanna go above and beyond, another thing you can do is get your Wondrous Tales journal. You can max out the Wondrous Tales, and it's pretty easy to do at this point, just unsyncing and doing some of the extreme trials, and then turn that in when the new expansion drops, so then you can get a quick half a level to 81 as soon as the new expansion comes. Another thing that you'll probably wanna do is clear out some of your inventory space if you have less retainers. I have nine, but if you have two, you're gonna wanna go through and clear out some of that high quality materials to make room for new materials and gear. They've already said that HQ materials are pretty much going away, so there's really no need to keep them. This should go without saying, but finish the main story quest. Some of you still have put it off up to this point I know a few of my friends have still not done it. It's just like two or three quests and they're just kind of waiting until the last day. I wouldn't wait just in case you'll want to get that done today or tomorrow to make sure that you're ready to jump into the new expansion. My personal pro tip is to play the new expansion with your battle retainers class. So 
For example, my battle retainers are black mages, so I will be playing the expansion as a black mage in order to level up the retainers as quickly as possible. I really want to be able to capitalize on getting my retainer sent out for materials, so then you can make some money on the market board starting off. Let's just all have a ton of fun with this new expansion. This is going to be such an amazing experience for all returning players and new players because this is the first time in a long time that we've had such a big expansion drop. Limit Break 3, that's subscribe button down below if you got any value out of this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified of all my new and walker videos coming out i want to give a huge thank you to my patreon supporters as your continued support really allows me to keep making videos here on youtube and protecting me from the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna connect with me or consider supporting the channel, then you can click in the link tree down below and that will point you in all the right direction. If you wanna keep watching Final Fantasy tutorials or guides, then you can click here.